Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Aftermath. My name is Ian. It's another gruesome twosome. Yeah. Here we go, guys. This week we're hitting you with the big scree <laughs> Return. <laughs> Return of the rock nerd. Oh yes. <laughs> if you couldn't guess, we watched a Godzilla movie for like what feels like a few months. Oh, dude, it's been a while. Yeah. I think the last, well, I mean, if we're not including whenever we saw um, Godzilla vs. Kong, which is the newest right. installment. Beautiful, by the way. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Talk about I, beautiful. Uh, dude. I, this, <laughs> like, this just affirmed my sort of love for this movie into full on, like, ultra love. Right. You mean yes. for the one we just watched today? Yes, or for the one okay, we okay, just watched. Right, 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 right. Yes. Um, but bef- but before, um, I'm trying to think. Before we watched like the more modern ones, mm-hmm. what was the last like classic Godzilla movie we watched? I don't think we've done it any for the podcast specifically, but I think we've talked about some. The last one we watched was Godzilla versus Destroyer. D- oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> How? I, I mean, no, I just <laughs> forgot that we watched that. I didn't forget right. the movie. Yeah, by any means. Um, but before we talk about the actual movie, well, let's go ahead and say it is Godzilla versus Megalon. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, Greatest. Before we start getting cannot into, convince me otherwise. Before we start getting into any details mm-hmm. about the movie or spoiling anything. <laughs> 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 so I believe we talked about this before, but I want to just go ahead and retouch on it again because this episode is about a movie that is in this collection. Um, there was a point in time whenever you had stumbled across at like a Barnes and Noble or something like that. A, um, it looks like a, like a, like a big art book. Right. Like it's bigger than most like normal book sizes would be, Mm -hmm. but it's kind of thin. And I thought it was just like an art book of like, uh, cool, like, um, Again, just different pieces of art in this kind of interesting style. It has this kind of really cool, what would you call that style? It's like blues, pinks, yellows, and it's kind of like it's a minimal lot. art. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to describe it. It has a very, um, have you have you guys ever seen, I mean, obviously, it's like one of the most popular paintings, mm-hmm. is the the waves, um, the, the Japanese painting yeah, of the waves. Yeah. What is it called? I can't remember the name of it ever. Oh, shit. It's the most popular, like, I think, piece or one of the most popular pieces of yeah. artwork or whatever it has that kind of art style the kind of like outlines interesting colors right. but regardless it's really cool looking mm-hmm. but come to find out i didn't know this until after you got it right it actually has like dvds of all the showa era mm-hmm. movies from what is it uh 1954 to i want to say like 80 something maybe 70 or 70 something 79? Interesting. Okay. But so it has all those movies in various discs in the back, and then it has interesting artwork and a synopsis yeah. of each of the movies in like the front part of the book, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. It's I was awesome. planning on buying it for like Dylan's birthday or like a Christmas or something, but he beat me to it. <laughs> right. Stinker. But uh, <laughs> you gotta be quick. <laughs> right, right. Once he has his eyes on something collectible that he <laughs> loves, you better grab it fast. Right. Um, but, anyways, I wanted to. Uh, start the episode off with that Mm -hmm. because this is like our first foray into that collection yes and And i haven't boy howdy did we start (laughs) strong (laughs) i want to watch more in this series i I want to i would love to do more episodes on ones in this series because again i have now that i have realized over the past oh i don't know uh, two years that i'm (laughs) apparently into godzilla movies now right um that i think it'd be cool to really tiptoe oh, yeah. in this very interesting era of movies that are very cheesy the and greatest uh, examples so, of camp oh my gosh and just so they are if ethan was here he would say bad in a good way oh yes bad so in, bad uh, they are good bad in the best way mm-hmm. and i and i never quite understood what that meant until i have seen some of these <laughs> and i was like i understand now they're just a fun time there's something special like I, I, I've never watched a movie that has <laughs> filled me with joy 
<laughs> undiluted euphoria even. As you much don't, as I have you the really, era Godzilla films. You really don't have to understand the overall plot of the movie. You really don't. It this really, isn't going to be so much a synopsis as it is just us gushing over the movie and how fucking oh, nuts it was. Of course. Again, if we, if we want to talk about it, there's a very loose plot of what's going on. <laughs> yeah. like, there's a family. I'm a, I, because of my limited Japanese, I think there is a younger kid, I think his it's like older a couple brother. Of brothers, and then this doctor that they know. Right. There's yeah. a young kid. There is his older brother, yeah. and a very similar age range to the older brother is like this kind of doctor guy, scientist yeah. boy or something. Inventor. Inventor of things. He has numerous cars and stuff, which I thought was oh, interesting. Yeah. And again, we're in the 70s. We're right. in, I think it says it was filmed like in 73 or mm-hmm. between 73 and 76. I can't tell. You look on Google and it kind of tells you some, uh, there's probably a, a oh, yeah. more solid a, oh, okay. a date range, but I just was glancing. Right. But again, but regardless, like we are like seventies. Well, exactly. We are thick in the 70s mm-hmm. where it's like, you can tell the big the colors. Styles, the music. Yeah. The, there's, they're driving. Uh, cars with uh, <laughs> driving gloves and stuff, right. which uh, it was it, again all these bell bottom, yeah, <laughs> white pants everywhere. <laughs> oh man, um, and of course all of the wonderful like very low level like uh, effects that are yes. in the movie <laughs> that Dude, are so pyrotechnics. Good. Oh my god, no, I mean not even like yes that too, but like low level green screen stuff I saw oh, that yeah. are just very. Uh, beginner, the um, what do you call it? Like the, <laughs> <laughs> like the fledglings of like what is going to be digital effects yeah. in the future. What is very much not that, <laughs> right? <laughs> the predecessor, exactly. Yeah. Um, I had a little um to throw a little uh factoid out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we looked at it and the for this movie in particular, the budget was one one point two million dollars. Uh huh. And the box office was twenty million. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so just to go, just to show how we'll talk about a return. <laughs> talk about a a crazy profit margin. Mm-hmm. That is nuts. It's crazy. Um, but uh, it, uh, again, like we're saying, like like I had said initially, like there, like the loose plot that we're talking about here. There is this, um, these three guys. They have this very abstract, like art house, is what it feels like. A cube. Oh, what is it? It didn't look like it had any windows. Right. And it was... Like what do they What do they call that? Like, like the 50s technology? Retro future? Is that what you call it? Yes. Right, right. It definitely had like a... Maybe not quite like that, but it had... But a, something a, similar. Yeah, very something similar of like... It is It is what the 70s think the future is going to be. That's <laughs> what it felt yeah. like inside that house. Yeah. You have this headless robot standing there. <laughs> The beginnings of a stir. Oh my gosh! And the makings of greatness laid bare. Apparently, so apparently there's these like goons that have been following him around. Right, Cetopians. Cetopians. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting ahead. You're getting ahead. <laughs> At first, I thought they're just regular burglars. Right. But no, as the movie progresses, apparently there is a uh, an under. An they're underwater. able to deduce where they came from by. <laughs> by oh gosh. Going through the scientific method using a button that they snatched from one of their coats. Oh, man. It was ridiculous. And when I tell you, they had like a little montage of how they smash it and they were like... Right, they went from figuring out where the button came from or what it was to just finishing up the robot. I thought that transition was... I thought they were putting all that work into figuring out yes. what the button was I, I, Dude, they did, they did everything but snort the red dust of right. some kind. They were just like... They were like... I thought they, they were... had that shit liquefied, put into yes. beakers. Uh, yeah. And, and they bring I, out a fucking welding torch. Right. <laughs> and, and also, there was a hot point in time where after that, I was like, the... What gives... Jet Jaguar, his sentience is this red dust apparently because they melted it down and put it inside of him is what it felt like. Really? Oh yeah, because it was like we're going the transition between like like putting it in beakers and testing out what this stuff was to like immediately finishing the robot. I thought they were like, oh, this magical oh. Uh, subterranean oh, earth okay. dust is going to help us find our missing piece to our yeah. I, I super see where you get that. super smart robot guy. Because <laughs> immediately after they're done playing with it, he's like, I'm Jet Jaguar. And he's like right. moving around and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, dude, dude. look at. It finished him up. Jet with Jaguar is so fucking cool. Magic Cetopian Earth dust. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, they just sent that shit off to like I think a geology, I I don't like know. research center and just 
Right. Like, hey, this Again, came from the island off the coast of Tahiti. Right. And and then ju- just to like uh, to really show how little story there really is. I'm sitting here <laughs> making up more story than there uh-huh. actually was. <laughs> yeah. They didn't explain anything. They were right. just like, yeah, there's there's so training earth dust, and then also like, like oh, oh, so that must mean that there's this too. Right. 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 Um, Clearly. Oh, 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 you know what? I forgot we had to finish building a robot. That's what we got to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, I can't believe uh, we yeah, forgot yeah, about yeah. it. He's just sitting there. Exactly. No head. Look at him. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> There's just something about that motherfucker's design that is. So interesting. Uh, I, I I think it's the face. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Very intimidating. Just a little terrifying. A, a wee bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's the it's the slats for teeth. That's what it feels like. He's just like yeah. <laughs> indefinitely smiling. Right, right. It also has the same kind of color scheme that um, like the initial Gundams did. Oh yeah. So it has this very reminiscent like. Oh my god, you're right. It just has this like, maybe not in the same pattern or whatever, but like. Right. It, it's it's kind of all over the place. It, right, right. But it definitely has like he is a silver robot mm-hmm. with yellow, blue, and red. Whereas like the main the OG Gundam that everyone knows of is like white, yellow, blue, and red. Right. In a different pattern. But I saw that and I was like, man, look at this little, <laughs> this, this weird. <laughs> oh my God. I fucking, I love him so much. Yeah. It, uh, I understand why now. Yeah. <laughs> See, dude. Seeing this and movie? how? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Let's get into the meat of it. I know. I'm trying to save the best part of the movie, right, right, the right. fight sequences. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold out a little bit because I just want to talk about some of the other stuff that's going on. Mm-hmm. Because, again, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> it's it's yeah. really hard to just get. Right. Okay, so the ba- uh, getting back to the plot, I guess. Right, the, right. The uh, Sutopians is this, uh, like, underground civilization. right. That vanished like a million years ago. Of, of, of English speaking, um, uh, <laughs> right. um, what, what feel like cultists that are dancing yeah. around at this weird um, Easter Island head. <laughs> right. So they're angry at the surface dwellers for conducting all these nuclear tests and fucking up their cities. Right, right. So <laughs> naturally, rather than knocking upstairs, being like, hey, yeah. hey can you, you stop? keep it down? <laughs> they send a giant fucking fire breathing lightning shooting bug. With um, drills for hands right, to go right. and fuck them up. <laughs> the um, the mega cockroach, if you will. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Megalon. Right, and uh, there definitely is a point whenever, like, whenever they summon him, mm-hmm. he, of course, it's this dramatic entrance. Right, and there's all this like, and like you said, campy is the word. Uh huh. They're just all these scenes that they just like they hammer on, and they just <laughs> they will they will persist, and it's yeah. interesting and it's funny. But man, it just kind of feels like they spent money on pyrotechnics and they spent money on explosives. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna sit here and you're gonna watch us that blow was shit up. All they need. That's all. Not only is it all they needed, but they're also like, we spent all this money on it. And if and it, and so help me God, <laughs> if we're not gonna sit here and enjoy watching mm-hmm. using all these explosives, we're not gonna just let it be some. Not only will I be damned, right? You yeah, yeah, exactly. Will be damned and as so well. there's just this moment where it's like we're underground, still. I think in the in the base where like all these guys are yeah. and just like shit's blowing up and we're uh-huh. just like things are exploding. And I was like, <laughs> and he just finished this whole spiel of like, we have to save C And I was right. like, well, Megalon's did a really good job of freaking it up. Yeah, right. Now. Like <laughs> destroy talking about the Northern <laughs> quadrant getting blown up. He's destroying the South and the West. <laughs> and of course I love the sequence of like, it feels like it's just him dangling on a string being spun around <laughs> yeah. through this 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 mat like this corridor that is flying yeah. like at the speed of sound it feels like and he's just like flying up it or whatever and I think he's but it's like at an angle like it's not lined up with right, the corridor right, right. and he's just kind of you he's know spinning slowly <laughs> yes and it's like or is he is is this is he, is he moving let me hear me hear me out am I supposed to uh, suspend my disbelief that he's now <laughs> digging the hole to get out or was it already cleared for him and he's just flying through it and I was like Honestly, you know what I think doesn't, it could be either one doesn't matter because he right. blast out the ground and I was like okay <laughs> yeah. cool here we are awesome right bug man <laughs> established yeah. main antagonist number one right um uh and then some more crazy nonsense happens little again just hijinks ensue just w- these hilarious hand to hand combat <laughs> scenes where if they're you just can like even call them that right where they're just like 
it it just kind of feels like uh, two drunk people trying to not like uh, trying to not hit each other. It is reminiscent of the live action Adam West Batman show. Right, right, right. And and I I love just how and like sometimes he'll shoot his little like it looks like a water gun. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he like shoots his water gun He's and it's like <laughs> they it's, brought super soakers. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's not actually a gun. It's just like a a, a tranquilizer yeah, mist it's like gun. Like a stun gun. Right. He just like shoots it. He's like, oh, oh, oh I feel bad and falls Going down. To sleep. But I just I never realized how powerful. Most times he just like grabs the barrel of the gun so he's holding it like he's going to pistol whip somebody uh-huh. but he just like bonks them on the back of the shoulders and they're like oh, right. oh my god the my, shoulders the back or like, right, they, around I think the they head. hit the head like once right but, but not really but every every <laughs> time they fall down they're like oh my head yeah. neck slash back oh my right. everything my, my torso yeah, upper I, area I don't I feel like I'm going to pass out apparently and I was like <laughs> what is this gun made out of all this movement's got me <laughs> tired <laughs> I felt a little sweepy. <laughs> Dude, uh, but it's like, it's funny. It's funny, it's, though. It be- is hilarious. Because it's just, it is happening so fast and also so clumsily. And you're right. like, I I mean, yeah, let's, let's I, go I, ahead. That works, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it looked enough like a fight to sell it, I guess. Right. And I, and I just love it. But it's, it's great. So apparently our older brother, younger brother duo get mm-hmm. captured and are put in like a shipping container. On the back of like a f- no, it was the uh, it was the scientist and the little brother, really that got stuffed in. Oh, there. interesting. And their okay. brother somehow <laughs> was able to track them while they were trapped Th- in there. Can I just say, through the most wild chasing I've ever seen, I, I'm I'm fully convinced the man could uh, either okay. has super speed and or teleportation on right. his side. Right, and not only that, just the the fact that his little I'm not even sure what Volkswagen car it is. I know it's an old '70s Volkswagen. It's yeah. not a Beetle, but it's like in the same vein of like, it's like a four door sedan type deal. Mm -hmm. And he, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's just because cars aren't built the same way as they were back in the seventies. Oh, they fucked these things up. What I'm saying is like the fact that he was like, they were fine. Right. But in this chase scene, he goes like off road downstairs, down a whole cliff side into like a construction (laughs) area and this thing still is kicking. Oh, yeah. And I was like, if I did that... Boston in a- trucks right. <laughs> put to shame. Eat your fucking heart out. Screw you, Boston trucks. <laughs> dude, can I just say... <laughs> can I just say, dude? Like, there's a moment where I was like, if I was to bring a car that was made in the 2000, uh, 2000 teens or whatever, I was like, oh, boy. the freaking transmission would fall would out. be destroyed. And just fall apart. Where After, I was just, like, the first bump. This, this guy is just freaking... I mean... <laughs> And the funny thing is, he has another old '70s car that's like following him behind yeah, him, chasing after him, and a guy on a, and a on a motorcycle. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what the fuck! Like it, they they take these things through like back alley streets. Oh my god, through gosh. a construction site over <laughs> a flight of stairs. Right, there's into a, a like a desert uh, valley. It looked like right, and, and then it, to, it almost got to a point where I was like, where are you going? <laughs> You're, you're running out of places to go. Like, you're going to run out of roads <laughs> right. soon enough. And not only that, it's also not like, it's not like he's like on roads going to like a destination where he knows his friend and brother are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're just like, he's it, just going. you're just running. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> with, no, with no destination in mind, yeah. you're just going. And it's like, more power to you, but right. at the same time, like you have to. Like, like they're, they're, to be fair, they were following him <laughs> through like the worst environments you could think of for a car. Yeah, right, right. But he's just, I mean, just trucking it, and I'm like, he's just stepping it up. But then we get to, we eventually get to our other characters that are like, um, uh, detained. Uh, yeah, detained. I guess is <laughs> the best way to put it. And he gets into like a little fisticuffs with these guys. But but before we get there, they're trying to to dump this shipping container off the dam. Right. And he just like, again, like like you were saying, like it's teleportation or some kind of uncanny ability. <laughs> he, just he just drives up. He just drives up. And I was like, just how did you get back the on the, so how did you the... Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> you just went through the wilderness. <laughs> and you somehow, not only, hear me out, uh-huh. not only... <laughs> 
um, did you like find your way here, but you found your way back onto a road in one piece. <laughs> right. so, so it's like, wait a minute, you were able to get back onto like some kind of semblance of a street and then dr- then proceed to, after you've done all that, drive your way here? I mean, cool. This man had the pathfinding abilities of a fucking... <laughs> Of a, I don't even know. Of a, of a goddamn right. Indiana Jones. <laughs> and again, the car does not look like it's worse for wears. It looks just no, fine. It's it like looks great. fine. Bright yellow. Not even a scratch. Nah. It hasn't been through hell. No. <laughs> but then, of course... He, was, he uh, took it through the car wash <laughs> real quick before he got there. <laughs> he just drove so fast, all the dents buffed out of it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I just believe anything. Right. right? <laughs> anything could have happened. Right. I love that uh, we're also getting to like this scene where like again talking about Campy our um our big bugman falls into like the the water the water part of a dam where uh-huh. it's like um obviously full up on one side yeah chills he, out in there for a bit having a himself a pool and just is like splashing around like a child oh, and there's yeah. water just flooding everywhere <laughs> and it just kind of stands there and everyone's like oh oh my god the monster ah, yeah. ooh, ah, and, and then, he just like and then he like looks over the edge for and a second yeah, and it's like, it's like ah. he like leans down and it's like Poosh. i can only assume he like busted a hole through it with his head. right because like about halfway through the halfway down the dam yeah. he like busts a hole into it and and then proceeds to like tumble down with the yeah. water. And I was like, why'd you do that? He didn't dive out. He just ate shit yeah, on yeah, the like, way oh, out. Oh, 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 like, oh, oh, man. And then stands up and was like, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Immediately focuses on the shipping container mm-hmm. as if sensing the men right. in danger. <laughs> right. And is like, oh, I have to get this bright yes. yellow box. Was it yellow or red? It was yellow. <laughs> yellow. He has a bright yellow box. And he's like, yeah. oh, I just got to get it. And then it, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it like it falls out of this because because the it was the, already like halfway the goons lowered. were trying to dump it over, but it stopped like as it, like the beds halfway up precariously yeah. standing on it. There's no way it's right. not gonna fall. It like it slips out and like it tumbles on the ground a little bit, and then the megalon just like yeet, it, like throws yeah, it like, in the air, baps it away, and then not only does it like fly into the air, it like flies up several miles up up. And away, if, oh, yes. if I may. Of course. <laughs> and, and, like, it goes over this ridge, mm-hmm. and then this is where <laughs> this is where Dylan's like, this this doctor guy has to have teleportation abilities. He, like, not even he, a second's hesitation. He is immediately on their on his way right, over right. to the crash site. Next cut scene is like, Within a minute. Somehow cleared this mountainside, mm-hmm. or went around it, or, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. What is the old... The old thing, can't go over it, can't go around it, <laughs> gotta, gotta go, go through, through it. <laughs> he just went through the whole mountain. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy, but you know. Uh, Car was made of sterner stuff, he just plowed right through it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he found his way back to the road. Yep. He just he just willed it to happen. <laughs> his little Volkswagen uh, car just made it happen. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're and we're, like, I'm not quite sure where, where we are in the movie, but like. At that point, I think... Um, they regain control of Jet Jaguar. Right, with the helicopter. Yeah. Can I just say, this this episode's going to be full of me saying that because I, right. I feel like I just have to You ask. can just say, I just I just have no to. No need to ask. I need to ask because it's just, I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> I mean, you, you just, you're just still coming to grips with it, that's <sighs> all. It, cause, uh, anyways, I love the way Jet Jaguar like motions his hands like he's a Power Ranger. Oh, and yeah. then holds his hands straight up in the air. Mm-hmm. like Super Sentai type w- shit. Like it's the YMCA <laughs> dance. He just holds his hand up <laughs> and then just proceeds to, like it's, I mean, you want to talk future tech, there's no propulsion involved. None he just holds visible. his hand up and then proceeds to levitate out. Mm-hmm. And then he ascends. Go, he as- ascends <laughs> is the best term for it. Oh, he yeah. just goes up from a, a vertical to um, a horizontal mm-hmm. and then just... Pew, off he goes with like like the air around him does not recognize his presence nope. doesn't make he's a sound just, it's like he's <sighs> using a fucking no clip I, right <laughs> right <laughs> right he is in god mode he's just uh. meow um, <laughs> but like that, that happens numerous times in the show that yeah. you're just like He's standing there. He doesn't say anything, obviously, because nah, he's like another. He like, just makes this weird word. It's like, noise. and it yeah. just like makes his hand movements, and, and you're like, I'm mean, like, cool. I guess he's All gone right. now. They they Until are able next to time. give him commands through this little like necklace with a microphone, it's like pendant or something. And of course, their first <laughs> their first response to 
a giant monster attack is to just immediately go and get Godzilla somehow. So we can I mean, fuck him up. The thing is, I can't say they're wrong. They aren't. I mean, he, that he, should be their first <laughs> course of action. <laughs> oh, and can I just say that was probably my favorite part of the whole movie. <laughs> I mean, there like was the, the interactions between the two, or oh yes, yes, but but specifically whenever we have Jet Jaguar, oh man, I just love like Godzilla sitting there and he has his hands crossed, yeah, and he's just like sitting there, he, like almost he's like, like he's praying to the yes. God above, just being like, please, I want some action, I gotta fight something, just today. I'm so antsy, I just gotta beat the hell out of something, please. My fucking island got destroyed, please. I'm still adjusting to this new place. I just I gotta I gotta de stress. God, if you're if you're up there listening to me, please just let me do some good in this world. Yes. And then like magic. By way of a small <laughs> robot. <laughs> right. Even Jet if. Jaguar flies down and then like It's like, hey bro. Yeah, yeah. You wanna come kick <laughs> kick this bug's ass? Oh, I just it's love like, it. Fuck yeah, because, I cause, do. Because right, because he like he sits there and of course again like he's he's uh, even <laughs> taking the information that this little robot that this, flew up to him. This out little, of nowhere, this little tiny robot just flies down like a like an archangel, right. just like stands there and he's like he's like like again Come this way. He's motioning like like he's a uh, like he's trying to land a plane. Right. He's like, like <laughs> he's like you. Come with me. We must go. Like right. he's like in all these like hand motions, and then like <laughs> Godzilla's just like sitting there for a second, and he fucking screams. He's like yeah, just a fucking <laughs> swan dive into the water. Immediately I just, goes. It was, I don't know if it was. Just, I, don't, I don't know if it was the fact that what we watched was funny or the fact that our commentary was better because again we're uh, like we're saying all all what we just said as the movie's happening right and there's nothing quite like imagining Godzilla praying for a fight <laughs> and then <laughs> Jet Jaguar uh, invites him and then he just goes yes so you have wished it so it shall be yes bitch what is it what does it say uh um ask the lord you shall receive <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh anyways so it takes a while because obviously Godzilla can't quite fly, so he's like going through the water. He's just and like Dylan had to also. To be fair, he's a speedy motherfucker oh, man, in the water. Like, like there's no sign of like struggling to swim. He's just moving. Right, right, right. Like <laughs> just like Jet Jaguar is in the air, the water just moves around Godzilla yeah. to make make his way. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't swim. Water just wants well, to be around. Water just pushes him forward. <laughs> right. <laughs> water does Godzilla's bidding for him. <laughs> Oh man, Ugh. it's so great! Uh, I gotta, <coughs> I gotta calm down a little bit. I'm getting right. too, I'm getting too excited here. So, with Jet Jaguar being faster, he returns right first, and <laughs> 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 and now it, it should be noted that to this point, Jet Jaguar was taken over by the Cetopians for a while, right, and used right. to guide Megalon towards uh, Tokyo cities. Now, <laughs> as soon as he gets back, he makes a beeline for Megalon, lands, grows. Right. Megalon's like, wow, that was really fucking cool. Because, of course, he's not expecting to fight the motherfucker. He right, was, right. He figures he was on his side for this time. Yeah. And I believe we also said that moment. He's like, yo, dude, that was pretty cool, man. Right. What are we going to do? Yeah. Wham! Dude, and then Jet <laughs> Jaguar just waltzes up casually. Right, right. And fucking haymakers just, Megalon I mean, just, in the face. Just knocks him real good one time. <laughs> like, onto the ground. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were cool. Yo, dude, I thought we were friends, bro. <laughs> he's like, no, nah, dude. And he just goes ham. He starts oh, fucking man. him up. They just start, just, I mean. Duking it out. Oh, it's so it's so good, but just imagine um, people in these massive, well-made suits just, like, trying their best to hit each other, but also not hurt each other. <laughs> right. That's the best definition it's, I can do. It's a balancing act. But it's so funny at the same time because, again, <laughs> you're just like... I'm suspending my disbelief. This is the greatest thing I've but at the ever same, seen. At the, at the same time, it's like, man, I just can imagine, you know, sitting in like a, a set being like, ah, yeah, I'm trying to, you yeah. know, punch a guy or whatever. But dude, <laughs> who is, okay, so then the Seatopians get scared. Right, that things aren't going too well for them. Right, because so not only is Godzilla on his way, but also Jet Jaguar's no longer in their control. So right. like, oh, no, we got it. So they, they call up some reinforcements because <laughs> they have the fucking M Space Hunter Nebula on speed dial. M Space Hunter Like, hey, Hunter yo, Nebula. can you send Gigan over here? Gigan. <laughs> so who is the M Space Hunter Nebula? What is they that? They are from 
one of the previous movies. I don't think I've seen that I can't that remember yet. which one. I want to <laughs> say it was it it was probably uh in King Ghidorah's first movie or oh, Okay, okay. I think it was like Monster Zero or Invasion of the Astro Monster, both of which right. he's featured in. But um interesting. Man, it's such a fucking cool name. Right. <laughs> M Space Hunter Nebula. Yeah. I don't know what the M stands for, but Mega. Mega Space Hunter <laughs> Nebula. <laughs> but yeah, so which you want to talk about uh freaking rock like a freaking rock and roll intro. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god, dude. <laughs> Please. It's, they are the best. Okay, so in the old Showa era films, now it not only Gigan, but King Ghidorah also had an intro like this. Really? Yes. Oh gosh, I want to see it. At first, it begins as a, a faint twinkling blue light right. that turns into like a straight up diamond. Yes, and then it fucking explodes. Yeah. And then not only that, like it twice, like, and then five times in quick succession. Right, right, right. Like, it, it's <laughs> one of those like it's one of those. Uh, um, uh, uh, how do you how do you describe it? I, it's I like don't know. it's like it explodes. <laughs> it's like a, a record scratch explosion. Right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It like it explodes, freeze frames, suck back in, and then what? 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 Wow! And, like, and you're like, oh my, what am I watching? And, and then thus appears Geigen. Yeah. And then hard cut to Geigen, like ah, flying got, through the air. Hook hands. Mm-hmm. Hook hands, McMic. Hook hands. <laughs> fucking buzz saw abdomen, chest. Freaking beak looking dude looks like a fucking teenage mutant ninja turtle villain. <laughs> I am I didn't say this when we we're watching it, but he he feels like if if I didn't know what robot chicken looked like, <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> if, no, if, you were to show, if you were to show me that and go like robot chicken, I'd be like, Definitely. Yeah, like 100%. That works. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I believe it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. not 100%, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, while uh, Jet Jaguar and Megalon are. Uh, it out. <laughs> tussling around on the ground. Right, right. Uh, Gigan shows up, starts fucking his shit up. Oh, dude. And then it turns onto a, a, a two-on-one. Right, right. That Jaguar is not doing hot. Man, and when I tell you the... F- oh, it's so fun. Mm-hmm. Like, like, there's there's a point when, like, they kind of pick him up and are like... Oh, like, they beat his ass. Like, playing tennis with him is uh-huh. what it feels like. But it's like... Just Turn this, him into a fucking ping pong ball. Uh, it's, it's so interesting because, again, like... I think Mallory was watching this with us and she was like, she said it best <laughs> whenever in the moment was that these guys don't obey the laws of physics they don't. Like, at all. F- so are you kidding? Physics is uh, non-existent uh, in this universe. Uh, uh, no, at least not to the monsters. They only pretend <laughs> right, that they're real. Right. Just like with Godzilla in the water, just physics, <laughs> physics obeys what they say. Right. <laughs> but it's like, there's a point where they like pick him up and are throwing him, mm-hmm. but like the inertia and like the movement of it all doesn't feel right real. But you're still like, man, they're beating the hell out of him. They're kicking his ass. They're doing something. <laughs> <sighs> so, as Jet Jaguar is like at the ropes, like barely holding these motherfuckers off, mm-hmm. about to d- be destroyed, pretty right? Much Godzilla. Appears. Oh my God! Not only appears. Now, when I say appear, you may think he just comes out of the water. No, but no, no. He is already on the ground, and he is ready, dude. I mean, he and not, is hype. Not, I mean, not. He even, is the hype. Exactly. Not even like is he ready to go? But it's like I want you to imagine a montage mm-hmm. and Eye of the Tiger playing. Yes. A pro wrestler right. entering the ring. Yes. Coming down the walkway. That is what this scene happens with Godzilla. We gotta push Godzilla for SummerSlam. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Please. But like it's like I he, he's not he, he's not inherently I don't think meaning to do it. Right. But it's just his mannerisms. Like he he's <laughs> like he's like he's like walking down this tr- like this uh-huh. this uh this like Schmoofing. dirt. Right, right, and he's just like he's like, ooh, uh, wow, like, well, he's like, he has like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, do like, he's doing like an, an air punch yeah, every now like and then. He's like shadow boxing. He's doing like, like the little like one two punch, like uh-huh. like side to side, like ooh, wow, wow, like I'm gonna, I'm like I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna screw you up, and like he's hyping you himself best up. Be ready, right? If you ain't ready, I feel like if I had Godzilla's thoughts at that point, 
I could just hear like, "Ooh, okay, here we go. I'm about to do that. Ooh, uh-huh. Here we go again, boy. Oh, yeah. What to frick him up again, buddy? Come teach on, teach him a lesson. <laughs> we've been a little rusty, but come on, school's been... about to be in session. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you've been you've been training all year for this, man. You got this. <laughs> you asked God for this, and He gave it to you. Don't screw oh, it up, man. But man, like once in a lifetime, <laughs> he just stands, and then of course he makes it on the scene, and then it's just like, yeah, like, oh yeah, <laughs> he screams, he just screams, and then again, obviously it's the Godzilla fighting scream, pose. right, right, yeah, like fighting right pose. Yeah, like, yeah. the fuck you got? Yeah. Like, trying to step to this. You mess with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then, dude, oh, like, man. he starts, like, giving him the old one, two, yeah. or whatever. And it's like, like you best kill me. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Dude, it's, it's the best intro because he's like, oh, how do you even describe? It's like, <laughs> it is a terrifying, like, scream, like the Godzilla scream. Right. But it also just has this, like, the visuals just feels like a guy just being like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> and like, just standing, that's what it feels yeah. like. And you're like, oh man, here we go. Triumphant and then, in all mannerisms. The initial, <laughs> the initial <laughs> fight is my favorite. You can't even call it a fight. Dude. It's a fucking ja- beat ja- Jaguar is on the side. <laughs> and then when I tell you, like, Godzilla walks up there and he's like, like just stay down. He's like, starts, stay down. Just I starts, got like, it. knocking all these guys around. Uh-huh. And there's a point whenever, I know it's because of the suits and probably the technicality of it. Yeah. But, like, there's a point when he's like, he punches one guy to his left and doesn't even turn his head to the right. But he's just like, yeah. He and he's just like, knows. <laughs> he, just he just knows. He just stands there, just like throw him, punch left, right. Like, they're not attacking even him simultaneously right. and he's just holding them both <laughs> off. Uh, not like, even oh. holding them off, just kicking their asses. And then just like knocking them on the ground. Uh-huh. It's just so funny. Dude, I. And then, of course, eventually. Hollywood could learn a thing or two. Oh, my gosh, dude. I, I, I felt like I'm just on this roller coaster <laughs> of emotions. Eventually, like, again, through the sequence of events, they start, like, um, um, kind of getting, yeah, their, getting um, their bearings back. Right, right. And then, of course, also, like, the tables turn, and they kind of, like, get them again. Right. They get surrounded by this fucking ring of fire. Right. And, of course, I love their kind of panicking until Jet yeah. Jaguar's like, wait, I can fly. He's like, wait, <laughs> get on my back. And God's uh-huh. like, sure thing. And, like, and then and it cuts to like two <laughs> shots of Megalon and Gigan lo- looking up, oh, like, what well, the fuck to, is this? Yes, to preface that, before that happens, is like it's this scene of like um, both uh, Godzilla and Jet Jaguar in this ring of fire, kind of like, uh, oh no, we're what surrounded. Are we do? What do we do? And then both Gigan and and Megalon are like, ha, just ha, standing ha, there you. taunting they're, them. They're doing everything but high fiving each other, basically. <laughs> right. And they're they like, did high five. Yeah, oh, they did? Yeah. I didn't see it again. Like whenever they beat down uh, Jet Jaguar the first time, uh, Gigan walks up, He's holds like, out his arm, his little claw. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, good shit, dude. But like, they're sitting there and they're like, kind of like, you can tell with their movements. They're like, uh-huh. ha ha, we got you. Right. And then after like the after they fly off, whatever, <laughs> it just cuts to them and they're just like the most dejected, like, <laughs> Wait, like what? what? Oh man, like. Come I on, cannot yeah. believe what I'm seeing. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking cheats. Oh, dude. But then, of course, the tables turn again oh, yeah. back in their favor. And, man, both Godzilla... It's the final bout. Is the final bout. They and wreck. Dude, and they start tearing it up. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny. Just the, like, again, both Dylan and I are shouting at the screen. We're so hyped at this point. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> because then we're getting to the best part the greatest, of the whole movie. The greatest piece of film ever recorded the, <laughs> in the history of mankind. The single best practical stunt that I've ever seen in my life. This is the Godzilla flying tail kick. Oh, God. It brings a tear to my eye every time I think about it. <laughs> Jet Jaguar <laughs> is holding Megalon up. Right. Defeated. Right, and he just sits there, and he's like, "Come on, give him yeah. all you got." He motions to Godzilla, like, "Like, yeah. get over get here, get over here, come you know on. what to do." Yeah, freak him up, <laughs> boy. Does he? Oh man, he gets a he gets he gets some distance. He goes long, and he fucking <laughs> he goes he, he gets a running start, jumps and full. uses his tail to <laughs> slide right. and kick Megalon. And I'm talking when I'm not I'm not just saying like using his tail to slide. I'm talking he is at a full horizontal uh, yeah. 90 degree angle oh yes and he f- slides a solid 10 mm-hmm. feet and if plow. you can look this up right now please you can thank us later hey, hear me out hear me out i know i said it again so i'm gonna say it again do yourself a favor please <laughs> please and just watch this and just get it hyped with it because it is mm-hmm. so good it's full a 90 degree 
slides and kicks him in the chest with both both feet. It is he does then, it again, and then he does it and then twice, he, and then he, and then like, and then of course, like I said, he gets his bearings, kind of dusts himself off, and uh-huh. then, and then Jet Dog was like, you know, yeah, come on, uh, yeah, yeah, get yeah. him again, yeah, hit him again, <laughs> hit him again, and then he does it again. He runs mm-hmm. back there, slides, and kicks him again. Uh, oh yeah. There's parts in the fight that I don't think I quite got to. Um, <laughs> that there's a uh, moment whenever I think they're like they kind of gang up on. Uh, oh no no! It was after they get out of the ring of fire. Yeah. They slam back down, and then and they of course, just got, Godzilla fucking yeah, goes nuts like, with the atomic breath. Opens his mouth and bam! And he's like, "Oh, I love it so he much!" Spits hot fire. And you're like, "Oh no, mom, he got me!" And he's like, "I screw you, buddy." Um, At that point, Gigan is defeated. He just fucking right. He's like, "Gets the fuck out! I can't do this anymore." No. And he's like, "Nah, I ain't doing this anymore." I had him until the robot could fly, and now the lizard's <laughs> spitting fire. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I was on your side, bro. You got to figure this out yourself. Right. There's also a point where after um, Megalon's defeated, he uh, proceeds to pick him up by his feet and then just like pick him up and <laughs> slam him down. Multiple times. So many times. Oh, yes. Like halfway through, all I could say was, this is how you bow to the king of monsters, you <laughs> yeah. bitch. That's all I could think of when he's just oh, like, man. you will learn to bow. This is how it is done, and you are going to be defeated. <laughs> Don't let me catch you doing Don't this kind of shit again, okay? And there's like two or three shots where he like looks over Megalon, where he's like, just like looking at him, and all I can think of is like, just stay down. You fucking, you're done? So help me God. You better be done. I will screw you up so hard. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> I'm being nice right now. I will massacre you. <laughs> I was bred for one thing and one thing alone, <laughs> and it was to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, I just, I love it. It's a fun fucking movie. Oh, dude. It's and then so dumb. After all of the enemies flee for high heavens, go back to, win- <laughs> oh, go yes. back to whence they came, those demons. When Jet Jaguar walks up to Godzilla and just holds just, out his hand and just gives him the biggest gives handshake. Him a great, good, firm <laughs> handshake. Again, they're not saying anything, but they're just like, they don't need rah, to. Rah, and they're yeah. just like saying like little things or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, good fight, man. Mm-hmm. Good fight. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> GG, bro. It's the best. <laughs> well played. Oh, man. I love it. And then, of course, you know, at this point, you're also seeing our like main characters like run down the hill. Like, oh, yeah. They've been watching go, the fight this whole time. Good, good job, Jet Jaguar. And of course, like, the kids like 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 in every Godzilla movie, there's always a kid of some kind being like, right. "Thank you, Godzilla, thank you." <laughs> and then and then like the he he gives a fucking peace sign before he leaves. I I think I missed that. You didn't see that? Oh my oh, god! I think I missed that. But man, I Damn. wish. Wow, that just is even it's, better. It's, it's, it's like <laughs> what a <sighs> send off! Wow, what a what a. <sighs> What a wild ride. And yeah. again, just like a cool guy not looking at an explosion, Godzilla doesn't look back at the thank you or anything like that or at his, his new friend and just keeps walking. It's like, it's all in a day's work, guys. I needed that. I needed that. <laughs> my soul is cleansed. Stay in my fucking life. Right, right, right. Oh. The earth is now rid of more monsters and my soul is clean. Oh, yes. I will now go back where I, where I come from. <laughs> um, dude. And then, of course, obviously, as the end of the movie goes, Jet Jaguar shrinks back down and, of course, talks with his newfound family now. But it's just like, uh, it is a, oh, what a fun time. Oh, yeah. It is so entertaining. Yep. It is, <laughs> again, cheaply, I don't want to say cheaply made because it was a million dollar budget. Right. And it's also a great Godzilla movie for what mm-hmm. it is. Definitely. It just doesn't feel... Um. I don't know. I can't really think of anything else. I'm I'm so it's, frazzled right now. Okay, it's, <laughs> right, a, right. it's a draining experience. But right, it, right. It leaves you satisfied. Of course, no matter yeah. what. Right. It is. Um. As far as like the effects go, you can tell it's not the highest caliber, highest right. budget movie ever. But it's also like you don't really care because you're no. watching a couple <laughs> of couple of big monsters punch each other around for it's the better part I'm of an hour. For. Oh, that was so good. Um, if you can't tell, we we um, enjoy these kind of movies. Oh, definitely, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, if you haven't, um, or you um, don't quite know how, I would find a way to get your hands on these movies, or watch them, or You'd be doing yourself a huge favor. There's a handful of them that I still think. Uh, what was it called? Um, I always forget the name of it. Hold on, it's coming to me. Please. Destroy all monsters. Just no, the other one. Final Wars. 
Oh, yes. Godzilla Final oh, Wars. God. You want to talk about a fever dream? I don't think we actually did an episode on that. We didn't. Oh, pl- dude. We will, though. Please. Is Wait, <laughs> is Final Wars was after Showa, right? Right. That was in Damn the millennium. It. But you have the, the DVD, though. The millennium. You have the, um, the DVD. Okay, That's good, true, good, 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 good. Well, regardless, at one of these days, you and I will have to sit down and then do <clears throat> another episode on... Or do a episode on Final Wars because you want to talk about a worry. fever dream. That's where it's at. Oh, campy and just <laughs> wild. Oh man, I just—it's amazing. These movies have been a fun time for me, and I can't wait to see more of these. Well, so we'll get there soon enough. Right. Is there anything else you want to add before we uh, send it off? Oh man. Uh. I rambled on about that fight sequence a lot because I was getting so hyped about it. It was worth it. (laughs) (laughs) I think we hit all the marks. Right. We were were worried initially. We were talking about this. We're like, how do we even discuss this movie? It's... It's hard to... It's hard to describe. Right. As far as, like, movie standards go, you just have to... Roll with it. Buckle up and get ready to to go. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So... But anyways, thank you so much for listening. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> thank, thanks a lot <laughs> thank you for thank you for listening to us and gush about Godzilla movies for a while um, but if you're looking for more episodes you can find us on Spotify Apple Podcasts Google Podcasts and all that other fun stuff or the aftermath look us up and uh, find us on all those major platforms we have Linktree forward slash Ian Wolf has all of our links as well and you can find us in all the all the spaces and all that kind of stuff but until next time see you Bye-bye.